Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. And today on and today on an episode of your boy Zach's channel, we're gonna talk about something that's happening in the mainstream. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on a second! Hold the phone! Hold the phone, man! What the hell am I doing here again? Well, it's time for another brand new <gasps> vlog video. Batgirl gets cancelled by David Zaslav of Warner Brothers Discovery. Ah, uh, it's a, well, it's a summer, it's yet another summer, it's yet another summer, it's, an, it's yet another typical summer as usual, and there's so many topics out there for me to discuss. What should I talk about? Should I talk about all the crap that's going on? Should I talk about all the crap that's going on in the world currently? Answer, nope. Oh, I know. Or how about Neil got, or how about Netflix releasing the trailer to to the god awful The Sandman show that will be premiering on Netflix, right? I mean, come on, who wants to watch shit like that anyway? It's almost like Neil Gaiman thinks we're all a bunch of retards, right? You know, which looks crappy in my opinion. No, this is even better. This is the best news I've ever heard from last week, in my opinion. Irredeemable. Batgirl movie gets shelved by Warner Brothers, despite 70 million price tag. 70 million dollar price tag. That's right, you heard me right. A crappy, a crappy movie has been, has been, has been, has been shelved from getting a release in both theaters and on HBO Max now. Why? Because, because the test, because apparently the test screenings from the test audiences were, were not good, believe it or not. So, yeah. Does this mean David Zaslav is going to reset the whole DCU at Warner Brothers now? Hell yes. Honestly, to be completely honest, yes. Yes, indeed. And this can only mean one thing. Get woke, go broke. <laughs> yeah. And I love how the writer of this article puts, Holy millions down the drain, Batman! Yeah, no shit, sh you no shit, Sherlock. The DC Comics film Batgirl will be completely shelved, notice how the word shelved is in air quotes, by Warner Brothers, a top Hollywood source told The Post. That means it won't hit feeders or the streaming service HBO Max. Consumers and fans won't will not see it. Yeah. Something tells me the movie was so bad that... Something tells me the movie would have been so bad that Warner Brothers themselves have decided to shelve the movie entirely. So yeah, needless... So yeah, needless to say, if the movie... Oh, by the way, this is like... This is like one of the very few scenes from the movie that, that exists to this day, and... Needless to... Yeah, Leslie Grace from In the Heights says, Back door right here looks pretty god-awful, in my opinion. But yeah, this is like the only thing you will ever see of the Batgirl movie here, folks. So yeah, and it's all thanks to this guy right here, Mr. David Zaslav, who came into Warner Brothers as the CEO of the company as War and and re and basically took over Warner Brothers as Warner Brothers Discovery in April of this year. And needless to say, and uh, hey, and if any and if any employees from Warner Brothers Discovery are watching this right now, which, well, let's be honest, my, ch well, let's be honest, not a lot of people watch my channel, mostly because I suck as a YouTuber, but that's a, that's a tangent for another day, but yeah, I don't want to be a dick or anything, but, uh, <clears throat> keep your resume updated, because David Zaslav is not effing around here, he's, he's gonna cut, he's gonna fire people if no one is making money for the company, so you know what? And unlike Elon Musk, this is my hero right there, right here, David Zaslav, the new CEO of Warner Brothers. Usually, I'm not a huge fan of CEOs in general because of personal reasons with how they handle companies and shows and movies. This guy, on the other hand, is an exception. <laughs> and there's even a picture of David Zaslav where he's wearing shades and he's pointing at the camera and it's almost like he's saying, I'm going to make Warner Brothers great again. But yeah, according to David Zaslav, Batgirl 
it has is yeah, according to test screenings, the movie itself has been deemed irredeemable and it's been shelved completely. Oh, oh god, no one wants to see that god awful actor's face. <gasps> oh, Gal Gadot, sexy, pretty lady. Hmm, cute. But yeah, as the sort, but yeah, soon how this is the end of DC as a hobby, the source said. So yeah, what does this mean? Changes at Warner Brothers are going to be happen f happening, folks. And not only has the Batgirl movie been shelved, i.e. canceled, but so has Scoob, Scoob 2 Holiday Haunt. That movie got canceled as well, too, because of, you know, David Zaslav. So, I can, and I guarantee for a fact that not a lot of people are happy at this. And I know for a fact that not a lot of people are happy at what David Zaslav has been doing at Warner Brothers recently by canceling shows and movies that are in development. But this is the same guy who canceled that crappy, god-awful, shitty Batwoman, sh Batwoman show and Naomi at the same time. And he also canceled a crappy Wonder Twins movie, too. I'm not even joking, he did. In fact, I have some evidence. As you can see by from an article on Bounding, Bounding into Comics here, folks, Ava DuVernay's and the CW's Naomi got cancelled recently because, in all honesty, the show sucked. I was obviously not the target audience for the movie. No offense to anyone out there, but... as But as a kid growing up in the 2000s and the 2010s decade, I seldom, seldom watched... I seldomly, seldomly watched the CW as a kid because, honestly, shows on, shows on there... It didn't appeal to me in the slightest. Okay, I'm serious. It didn't appeal to me in the slightest. But yeah, needless to say, B Batwoman and Naomi got canceled at the same time because, honestly, the show sucked. By the way, this is a screenshot from Naomi right here. But yeah, needless to say, <laughs> nothing of value has been lost. But yeah, in the words of the critic from... From but, but yeah, but yeah, in the words of Jay Sherman from the critic, and nothing of value is lost. And if you want proof of deep of Warner Brothers restructuring, not only that, the official DC website drops the word comics designation from its from its branding in a sign that suggests that the company could be moving away from publishing. So in other words, the end days of DC Comics publishing horrible. Horrible comics might be coming to an end soon. As foretold by Ethan Van Skyver. One of these days, the day of reckoning shall come, as foretold by Papa John. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this for now. But in the meantime, there's other, there's other there's stuff by independent creators that we can support in the long run, folks. And remember a while back when I talked about the Ripiverse? Yeah, well, guess what? It's here! It's here! Instead of supporting all the crap that's coming from DC and Marvel currently, why not just swing on over to the Ripiverse that's led by commentator and, and comic book creator, Mr. Eric July. And un by the way, and unlike the creep, and unlike the greedy assholes over at DC and Marvel who hate you. However, Ripiverse Comics loves you. Why? Because, you know, he's passionate about comic books. So yeah, needless to say, the mainstream comic book industry, in my opinion at least, is a dinosaur. It, it's a freaking dinosaur. It's a dead horse that just doesn't want to fall the hell over at this point. By the way, thank you, Eric July slash Young Ripa 59, Cliff Richards, and Gabriel El Taib for giving us a look at the Ripaverse. Keep up the great work, men. Oh, that's the main character from Isom number one, Avery Sillman, folks. My favorite character from the Ripaverse so far has to be y Yaira. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about that. She's my favorite character from the comic so far. But yes! That's all I have to say about that topic, folks. So, if you like the Ripiverse, please head on over to the Ripiverse to Ripiverse Comics to support Eric July. Head on over to his to his YouTube channel to watch clips of his show for canon's sake. 
head on over to his website to support him for, for canon's sake. And while you're on YouTube, like, like my videos, so please subscribe to my channel, and wait, and basically get excited for when new videos drop right here on the Chucko, right here on the Chucko's Asikin channel, YouTube channel. Sound good? Good. Bye, everybody. Peace, uh, peace out, home dog. Peace.